Okay. Welcome back to another video, guys. In today's video, we're going to be tearing the 429 down. Um, basically, we need to get it all the way down to the crank, get all of our bolts organized, and then we can ship it off to the machine shop to get them to do their thing. Um, and after that, I'll be building it by myself up at the school. So there's going to be a while there we are not going to see anything. I'm going to try to record some stuff up there at the school if I can. Um, some of the fabrication type things and uh, installing some of the stuff. So I'm going to try to do what I can with it. But if you don't see a lot of this process, just know that's why. Um, anyways, guys, I want to stop talking. I'm going to stop talking and we're going to work on the motor. Alright, so last night we got this thing mounted up on this new engine stand. I, I have a, you saw me put together the engine stand at least for the most part until I ran out of space. But we got it put together. Um, it's all mounted up. We had to space out our bolts a little bit, but we're in there good now. Um, what I've done today already, I've already pulled the water pump, pulled the alternator, and I pulled the power steering pump. They're all laying right there. Um, we still have to get off our harmonic balancer so that we can... And there's our timing mark. Um, we still have to get that off so that we can actually go forward with... I'm trying to speak and it's not working for me. So that we can go ahead and uh, remove our timing cover. But first I'm going to get this thing on top dead center. That's what I'm about to do. Okay guys, so what I've got going on here is, um, like I said, I've already removed the water pump, alternator, and the power steering pump. Just things that are pretty easy to remove. But there's all these Allen keys that held it in. Um, this isn't stuff you'll be dealing with. Unless you're working on something from the 1960s, then you might be dealing with Allen heads. But, anyways, so now we're doing the harmonic balancer. Um, in case you can't see what's going on here, we have almost what's like a steering wheel puller. These two bolts thread into two of the bolts. These are two of the bolt holes right here. And then this one goes in the middle here, and there's a little cup that goes on the end of it, and if that pushes in, and it pulls the harmonic balancer up, which is what we're currently trying to do. Okay, so what 
I've done so far since I last updated you. I took the old pan off, inspected my crankshaft, um, made sure that there wasn't any like um, bad spots in it. Just to make sure it was a good crankshaft. What we're going to do now is we're going to take out the cam. And um, I already took out this retainer here. It was a bolt and like a little circular doodah. I don't really. It, it ran the fuel pumps all in there. Anyway, but these bolts right here, take them out. After that, the retainer comes off. From there, we pull our crankshaft out. I do believe there's a flex plug back here. Oh, this is that fun. So, don't really know what the easiest way is going to be to do this. Oh, there it comes. And there's our cam. Looks good, but we're getting into stage two to go back in it. Something a little more performancey. In the air pan for right now. Didn't really think it was going to go that way. Something that I've been doing is I'll put hardware back into the place that it came from. So. That way I can just keep up with it for now. Whenever I ship this off, I will label everything. Because it's probably going to be a while before that happens. So, now we're going to spin our motor over. And get to where our pistons are. Okay. Now, what I've already done is a lot of these are already indexed. If you don't know what indexing a piston, or a piston is, is um, if you'll take a look right here, Victor. Let's take a look right there. A little light on that. Shine a little light on the subject. So right here, right here. I'm looking at the five right here. Oh, can they see the five pretty good? Well, I think I can. Okay, so that right there is five and five. So we know that this piston right here goes in cylinder number five, and these two pieces are what we want to match up. Okay, now these aren't fractured, but in some vehicles these will be like a small fracture, and you want those to match up because they won't match up with any other piston. Um, all of them were indexed except for the first and last one. So I wrote right here cylinder number one. I uh, etched it in with a Dremel. Cannot. There we go. I etched that in with a Dremel. And then back off a little bit for your zoom. There we go. That's a little bit better. I etched it number one right there. And down here, I scratched in the wrong thing. I put an eight and like <laughs> a window. I don't know what. I just kind of got a. I just kind of got Dremel crazy. But this is actually cylinder number four, not cylinder number eight. Didn't realize that at the time. But I don't know what it is going back in. That's the important thing is that you know what it is. So, now we're going to start removing our pistons and get them out. And then after that, we're pretty much done tearing this engine down. <laughs>
Alright, so we got the engine done. Um, pistons are out of it. The only thing still hanging is crank. I'll leave it in there pretty much till I get ready to take it to the machine shop. Um, but next thing in the next video we have to do is we have to get these bolts in bags, organized out of the block so that they can work on them. We have our, we have our cam bolt, water pump bolts, timing cover bolts, motor mount bolts. Those are Belhazi bolts. Those those really don't matter right now, but these are ones that I found. It actually didn't come with Belhazi bolts. So. Um, but I'll, I'll put those in a separate thing regardless. And then we have a distributor bolt right here. We've got some stuff laying over here. We have our feeder for our fuel pump. We still have to put up. So there's still a lot to do. It's a lot to do for me. For you, it's going to be like five minutes long. But for me, it's a lot to do. Um, and then I want to try to either clean these up. These don't look too bad. They could probably be cleaned up and reused. But they're Allen head. And while Allen head's great, they're super easy to strip out. So I do want to try to change these to a hex if possible. Um, so I'll probably end up getting new hex bolts to go on after the block's cleaned up and all that. Then we also have cam bolts and all that stuff. So we don't want to get any of that mixed up. Um, so that's why it's super important because whenever you're doing a project that's big, organization is going to save you whenever it comes to rebuilding. Um, it's going to save you a lot of time in finding what bolts go where. Um, if you put everything back in its original location, you really don't have to worry about it that much. Um, so yeah, and if we flip the motor over, we've got our crank bolts that still go in. Um, we actually have our pistons laying over there on the table. Those I'll be hanging on to. I'll be cleaning those up myself. I'm not going to be sending those to the machine shop with the crank and the, and the heads and the block. Um, so, yeah guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.